Welcome back to the junk room, everybody. It's me, the junk man, coming back at you with another video. Yes, I'm wearing my ripoff Toys Us shirt because Toys Us' website wouldn't sell one, so I had to make my own. Which you can get at junkmanmerch.com. You can head over there and get some other ripoff trademarks and some other shirts also. So check it out. Toys Us. Who doesn't miss Toys or Us? At least us here in the U.S. I know you Canadian bastards up there got your own, uh, yeah, got Toys R Us steel. Remember that theme song with Jeffrey? Remember that? I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. Hey, look what my uncle taught me to play with. I never understood that part of the song. I never understood that part of the song. What did the uncle teach him to play with? I don't know. Maybe some Fisher Price toys or something. Little tykes. Maybe the uncle taught him to play with little tykes. I know my uncle used to say, I don't have any little tyke toys, but you come over to my house, I got a big tyke you can play with. I never understood what that meant. Never understood what that meant. But let's go. You know what I got right here? That's right. Another top 10 list. Whew. Top 10 list. Means I didn't have anything better to do for a video. So here we go. Top 10 accessories that came with Kenner Star Wars action figures that I absolutely hate absolutely hate so this should be a good list this is the worst accessories to come with action figures or i could just call this the top 10 staffs because that's all i think that's all we have here or close to it there's no pistols i don't think on this list but let's start with number 10 the one i actually kind of like i like it from a collector's point of view from an adult collector's point of view as a kid i didn't have it but i don't think i would have been too fond of it it looks cool it's got skulls all over so you know we're talking about the staff to amanda man amand amand a man a man that's right a man a man the staff has got skulls it looks really cool but really what's the practical use here it's not like a staff i don't think he can jab with his hands are all like big cucumbers and stuff i don't think it's going to do any good even if you're playing with him you can't get him to hold it to do any kind of combat with it so number 10 a man a man staff no it's not the staff of rock it's just a staff with skulls on it how awesome is that i want to know the story of that one no, I'll take that back. There's probably some long, dumb EU story that explains what gives a backstory to each skull it belongs to. We don't need every little thing spelled out for us. Gee, leave some mystery. How about this one right here? Rancor Keeper Staff. Again, boring staff. And why do I hate this one so much? Because it's just a fake gaffy stick. Tuscan Raider Staff. They just changed the end of it. The front of it still looks the same. They just found a cheap way to get around it. Someone in the props department probably cut a gaffy stick and some other stick in half and made the Rancor staff. I don't remember the Rancor even having a staff in the movie, did he? I don't remember that. He might have. I'm trying to think back. Trying to replay it in my head. I know he's crying. He's got a towel on his head. I can't remember a staff. But if he did, it's a horrible staff. And that is my number nine. Rancor Keeper Staff. Number nine on the worst Star Wars action figure accessories ever. Ever. And of course, I'm talking vintage years. When I do videos, I talk about vintage years. Unless I make it clear I'm not. Because, hey, we're talking vintage here. Uh, number eight. The Cloud Car Pilot Walkie Talkie Communicator thing. <sighs> this thing, one thing you guarantee to lose this within the first ten minutes of getting it. If that long. You're probably losing the between the uh, seat cushions and the car on the ride home or you're dropping in your shaggy carpet you'll never see it again trust me and it's so stupid you're not even going to really care if you lose it. you're not going to look for it it's probably going to be lost before you even know it's gone and and he holds it like this and you're not even sure as a kid is this a communicator what is this thing who did he talk i don't even says it might say it on the package i don't know but we didn't read the package as a kid back then it looks like some kind of shrunken t-square or something you're like who does he talk to? If you only none of the other figures have one, so he can't communicate to anybody. Now I used to make mine talk to Lobot, and I guess you could make him talk to Lobot. Kind of makes sense there, unless you went out and buy another one. See how they get you? You had to buy two pilots to fit in the cloud car because they had two seats. You had to buy two pilots to get them to talk to each other on their walkie-talkie thing. Oh, what well, this is probably the the cloud car and the pilot is the biggest gimmick in the vintage Star Wars collection. That's for sure. But whew, cloud car pilot walkie-talkie thing. Ugh. Okay, number seven. I talked about it before. I will talk about it again, and I'll probably talk about it after this video too. Two one B's, the little medical thing you stick on his arm right here, and it goes. It's supposed to be that little needle thing I think that pokes Han. Look, pokes, 
pokes Luke Skywalker's hand, make sure it's real, where he goes, ow. Remember that? But uh, I guess that's what it's supposed to be. It's boring. It's one of those things that's going to come off and lose. I don't even remember having this as a kid. I think it was in my list of the most lost accessories ever. It's stupid. It tries to give a little extra play value to a droid that has really no play value. All this droid's purpose was was stand next to a hurt action figure. At least FX7 has some arms that came out and everything. <sighs> Number six. Kind of cheating here. I want them all together. Any bow that came with an Ewok. You know why? Because they didn't have arrows. Okay, I'm sure one of them had a little bag that had arrows in it. But they should have let it put the arrow in it, pull it back and shoot it. Remember the Robin Hood Kenner Collection? They had arrow, uh, bows and arrows that worked. I know it's kind of dangerous, but they had them. Why couldn't they do this with the Ewoks? It would have been smaller, of course, but it would have been a lot more fun. At least put a real string on there. That way you can make your own arrows for it. Out of toothpicks or something. You could have done something, but it's boring. Give you a bow and nothing to shoot out of it. <sighs> Lame. Lame. Number five. You're going to get... Oh. Number five, and you're going to get mad at me. That's not how you pronounce that word. Where's my keyboard? You said words with your mouth wrong. I'm better than you is. Yes, I know. I know how you guys are. I love you guys, but I know how you are. Number five, Ugnuts. Ugnuts, whatever you call them. I call them Ugnuts as a kid. I never heard it said. So they changed it later, or someone said it later. I'm sorry. Sorry, I didn't have the internet like you guys did back then. Uh, Ugnuts, a briefcase. How fun is that? It doesn't even open. Again, if this one opened, it would have been a little bit more fun. You could have stuck some things in there, put some plans in there, made a little piece of paper with some Death Star plans on it or something. I know the Ugnuts wasn't around the Death Star, but still could have done it. Briefcase. Who says I want an action figure and I hope we want it to come with a gun? Oh, no. I hope it comes with a briefcase, which I always thought was a lunchbox. To me, I was like, he must be carrying broken hearts in there because that's what you carry in a lunchbox. A lunchbox full of broken hearts. No, oh, sorry, sorry. Lost my train of thought there. But Ugnut, with the, I know he had it in the movie, but still, bleh, not one of the best accessories. I'm about to kill myself with the cods. Number four, boring. Here's another boring staff. You ready for this one? Bib. For Tuna. That's right. Bib. Tina. Tuna. Tona. Tina. Tina Turner. Bib for Tuna. <sighs> staff. This is another staff. Look, it has no purpose. I know there's some EU book that tells you it's a magical wand and it's got this whole big backstory about a 200 page book about it. But no, I don't care. I'm talking about when I was a kid. Not some 90s EU stuff or Disney EU, whatever you want to call it. The staff, it looks boring. Again, it doesn't look like something you can fight with. I used to put it in his hand and have him jab with it like it was a long knife. And that's kind of cool. That's why it's not number one. But still, the Biff Fortuna staff. Ugh. Ugh. Number three. Yeah. Here's another gimmick figure where they wanted you to buy two of them. Royal Guard staff. That's right. The staff that came with the Royal Guard. This thing would break really easy if you tried to play it. How many have you seen where it's got the crease in the middle because it's about to break? I don't know why so many of these broke. And all they do is stand there and hold it. And I know in the movie they shock somebody with it and delete the scene. But you didn't know that as a kid. So you didn't know what this was. You thought they were just holding a flagpole. You're like, why do these red guys come with a flagpole with no pole, with no little flag on it? I was like, where's the emperor seal flag to go on these flagpoles? I thought they were like those upper kids in school that got to go out every morning and raise the flag up oh flag man or the crosswalker when i was in school back then that was my dream and when i get to the sixth grade i'm gonna be a crossing guard or better yet one of the three boys that go out and raise the flag in the morning also have to take it down and fold it like a football i would have never got past that test i could never even fold a piece of paper like a football i remember you put fold it like a football and flump it across the woo Gold. I could. I could never fold it like a football. I knew a girl that could fold it like a football and pass notes in class. Throw them like Chinese throwing stars at you. Pew, pew, pew. I was never. Could never do that. But the flag. I was. I never got that job when I was in the sixth grade. You know, it's for the sixth grade boys. Always three of them. I don't know why I took a three of them. Never took more. Never took less than three boys to raise that flag and bring it down in the morning. 
I was always like, man, that looks like a great job to have. <sighs> but anyway, we, oh, the rent, oh, uh, the Royal Guard staff. How the hell do we get from that to uh, talking about flags in the sixth grade? Whew, that's what you get on this channel. Number two, the one that you thought would be number one. That's why I put it number two, just so you wouldn't, so you'd be surprised. General Medine's little white stack, stick, staff thing, whatever you call it. This thing is boring. This thing is horrible. It's just like a toothpick with a block on the end of it. I, I don't know who came up with this one. I guess he carried a stick in the movie. It's a pointer. Yes, he has a a slideshow pointer. He has a, I don't know, what, the, what they call it when they, I don't know what they call some what they call, you know, that software where they show it in office and you're half asleep. Pointer. A damn pointer. An action figure came with a pointer. Mm, this thing is horrible, boring, and stupid. But it's not number one. Nope, nope, nope. It's not number one. What is the single worst accessory that came with a vintage Star Wars action figure? Oh, you want me to tell you what number one is? I got it right. I got it right here. No, no, sorry. I dropped it there. I dropped it there. Okay. <sighs> Larry, clean up this glass. You're always breaking the glass. Hey, don't talk back to me. Here we go. Number one, number one worst Star Wars action figure accessory ever. Admiral Ackbar's staff. What is this thing? I thought it was some kind of flute when I was a little kid. I'd take it and try to blow on it. I was like, I don't, I was waiting for the movie because I got this figure for the movie came out. I was like, I can't wait to see Adam Ragbar and while he's playing that flute, I guess it's after he destroys the Death Star and they're celebrating. Doodly 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 do. It's a trap, it's a trap, it's a trap, trap, trap. But it's not, it's not a doodly doodly staff. It's just a staff he holds. It's got little lines and everything on it. Looks like it's gonna do something, or it's not even in the movie. Not even in the movie. Give us something that came in the movie. Give us some kind of headgear. Give us something. A ugly, stupid staff that makes absolutely no sense. That is the worst action figure accessory there is. It is. Trust me, it's the worst. The worst. Well, let me know in the comments below. Maybe you think one's worse than that. Maybe you're like, no, junk man. No, you forgot about Han Solo's pistol or something. Uh, how about the weird shaped lightsaber in R2's head? That was close. Uh, but at least it had a spring action. Okay, guys, I want to thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments below if I'm right or if I'm wrong or something I forget. And until the next video, until the next video, like always, stomach much only like my content, subscribe to the channel. We'll talk again soon. Hey, jump man, channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.